Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Greg, aka the Free American Spirit. And today we have a lot to talk about. I'm testing out my new phone to see how it records. We'll do a video about that later. This is just for me, but for now, I want to talk to you about the Magic Jack. As you know, I got two Magic Jack lines, and the problem with Magic Jacks is they're not wireless. But if you stay tuned, I'll show you how to make them wireless. Alrighty, Greg, thanks for sponsoring yourself. Hey, in all seriousness, if you like my videos, please use that thumbs up button to hit a like or leave a comment. Ring that little bell icon down below, and that will make sure that you're notified every time I do a video. You know, comment and sharing on all your social media is really a good way to help me out. And of course, if you use my links, their affiliate links, I'll make a little commission, cost you nothing more. And that's the really best way to help me get you videos like this. Hey, I got two Magic Jack lines. You can see this phone right here. I've already got hooked up to my wireless system, so it's on and working. This phone right here is the one we're going to hook up. And it is not working. It says, check your line or something like that. So how do you get your Magic Jack phones to work? It's real simple. You use what's in that bag. So just to show you what we're doing today, I am going to show you this is the older style Magic Jack. Remember before you have your phone line, you have it plugged in the power, and then that went to your router, that, that uh, Ethernet cable. And now that Ethernet cable goes to a wireless bridge. So I've got the newer Magic Jack, which goes to my other line. Okay, it's already hooked up to the phone, but it's not hooked up to power yet. This would be the power. Okay, and then over there, over here is where you would do the Ethernet. But I don't have that hooked up yet because we need the device. And what is that device? Stay tuned. So what's in that box? Let's get to it. So in the box you have a Wi-Fi repeater or a bridge there's different ways to configure this and it looks like that all right and you have this wire right here would go into your computer when you're going to run and i'll show you that in a minute and this usb is only for power now there's this connection right here in case you had some other power source but you connect it together like that so you can put in usb you have a that's the same little connector we have a card right here that you can scan and get more info, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And then you have the user guide, which we really need to pay attention to when we're doing this. If you look at this one over here, you can see the phone is hooked up. The Magic Jack oops, is plugged in power, and I just unplugged it. So that's going to reset. And then, of course, that's what this is. So the USB is going down there to power, to power this. And then the Ethernet cable that used to go to your router... Is going to that to send the signal so we're gonna hook this phone up let's go to the computer over here as you can see that says check the line and of course that's the one that's on right now the only downside of this is is these leads are kind of short I wish they were longer you can see that this router which is what it is basically is going to my other router now and it's right on top of all this electrical junk that I got so I kind of try to prop it up like that. I haven't had any problems with it. It works fine. But you got to think that, you know, with all that stuff, that it will, uh, you know, have a little interference, but it doesn't. Another thing is, you know, if your router goes out, if your internet service goes out, then this will go out. But the good news is when your service comes back on and your router boots back on, this then connects to your router and you got phone service again. So let's move to the computer and see what happens. The very first thing you're going to do is take your Ethernet cable, see that down there, and plug it into your computer. Make sure your computer has power, but plug it in there. And then to get power to that, see that blinking? You're going to put your USB into a USB supply. So that's now ready. If you come over here to your computer, I've got to turn it on. And once I get the screen up, I'll show you what that does. All right, I've got Windows open. So right now I don't have any Internet connected. Okay, so I'm going to go to this little deal, and I'm going to go up and open up my internet. And you see the screen that pops up? Now I want to show you something. See that wine guard? I'm in my RV, so that's my normal uh, router outside. If you had a router inside, 
or whatever your router is that's the one you would pick but you see this one that's that's that one up there you see this one down here that's the vonet that's already started i've already hooked that up and that's running on my phone so it's it's doing its thing but this is the one i just plugged in so this is would be what you would have if you just plug that in okay so you go here now i have no internet on and you click on that thing you say connect i don't want to connect automatically it's hard to do this looking through the camera and trying to move everything around so now you want to enter the network security key where do we find that hold on just a minute so opening up your little manual here uh, from the english side you'll see your password is right there so let's put that in there let's see if that does it one two three four five six seven eight and we'll say next do you want your allow and i say no i don't want it discovered by other people and other junk and whatever i only want this computer to discover it so now it's going to look for it checking network requirement la 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 Okay, so there's no internet, but it's connected, All right? So hold on, and I'll tell you the next step. So I've got my regular router hooked up. We're going to go to this Vonase config, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bonets dot cfg and we're going to see what it does enter goes to this page the instructions say admin for username and admin for a login now it goes to the wizard Checking for hotspots. So I go to Weingart because that's my main router. And I hit next, I believe. Yeah, there you go. So now that you've got that, you have to put in your router number. I'm not going to show you what my password is, but I will put it in. Make sure, doubly, 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 make sure that when you hit this apply, I'm going to put in my number and I'll get back with you. And then I'm going to hit that button and show you what that page looks like. You've already got it checked IP layer. You already got this checked. It's already automatic for you. So that's your router right there. You're going to put your router number in. Okay, you're going to trust me. I got my router number in there. I double checked it. Now we're going to say apply exactly what it did but hold on just a minute so I can read it okay it just went to another screen which is that and then it's going to tell me to connect applied the router password I hit submit now we're gonna hit connect and theoretically it is now connected so what we're going to do is, I'm going to shut this down. So I'm out of that window. I'm going to go back over here, back to my internet. So we're going to disconnect that, right? And theoretically, I should now be able to, if it's hooked up, take my ethernet cable out of my computer, hook it into my magic jack right here. I've already hooked in the phone and I've hooked in the power. So let me hook that in and I'll be right back. Cause right all right, just to show you something, once you're all hooked up, you got your regular router and then you got, I have both of the Bonet routers on now. That was the old one for the first line and that's the new one. That's what it'll look like. Hey guys. This is the old Magic Jack, the old style, even though it says Wi-Fi, it never really was. But that's hooked up, 
and you can see that the thingamajiggy that's going to it is flashing real fast. And then the new one, that's this one, is also now flashing real fast. You can see that. So just to let you know, I had to unplug you know, both magic jacks from the power, plug them back in, and plug the phones from unpower. And what that did was the phones had a memory, and then these had a memory. So when I unplugged it and hooked it back up, now when these rebooted, these two things, they went to my server. So we're going to use this phone to call that phone. You can see now that it doesn't have the no service dealy thingy. So let me call this up real quick. And it's dialing. And there you go. And just like that. You now have both of them working. So I hope this two tutorial was a bit really good for you. Give me a thumbs up. Use those Amazon links. I'll have links to both the uh, bridge routers or whatever you want to call them, the Bonets and the Magic Jack. There's also an older video you can watch. So support the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.